Vlogaday114. Happy birthday, Kevin. I, uh, I need to go for a run. Today's laundry day. I also want to go write. So the conflict this morning is I want to write while I have the, uh, you know, the, the energy to write. But I also need to do laundry. And the efficient part of me wants to do laundry while I write. But that would mean that I need to go for the run first so that I can do that laundry. So I basically I'm just going to have to uh, sacrifice efficiency this morning. Which, believe it or not, is kind of hard for me. I like being efficient. I like multitasking and getting like five things done at once. Oh well, I, I need to go right. Also, I'm wearing sunglasses because I just woke up and uh, it's not bright in here, but I am going to be optimistic for the day. Going to be optimistic. Not so optimistic that I don't think that I need a sweatshirt though. I'm really loving the autumn chill. It's one of those weird things. I just love the changing of the seasons. I love change. I love transitions, which is good because I've been in like the world's longest transition period for the last three years, five years. I don't even know anymore. It's the new normal. I feel like I should probably be a little bit more respectful, but they are store-bought and they are Pretty much rubber now. Don't worry. My optimism will pay off. It always does, eventually. And that's actually not really the optimism at play. It's just that, you know, weather changes. Shut up. One of the things that I love most about living in France, though, is the pace of life is really a lot slower. Even in Paris, which is faster than when I lived in Nice, you just, you get less done in the day, but it feels like you got more done. I have no idea how that works. So like today, I'm gonna write in the cafe, go for a run, get my laundry done, and it will feel like I've gotten a ton done today. I also have to do some stuff for Boomerang, but you know. This has to be tried. The waffle version of shawarma. It's good. Not what I think of when I think of a shawarma, but it's good. That was definitely tasty. Uh, sad that there was no garlic aioli. And also super overpriced, holy cow. Cost like double a kebab at the place over here, which I didn't know because, you know, I just said, oh, I'll take a shawarma. And they're like, sweet, sit down. So that was unexpected. I would go back if it wasn't gonna cost me my firstborn child. I did finish uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It was good. Like it was way, the first, the first one I was, I enjoyed, it was okay. Uh, but the second one was really good. Like I really enjoyed it a lot. So I'm pretty excited to keep reading them. Uh, I'm gonna go for a run and then I gotta do laundry. I have no idea how this one's gonna go. Uh, 33.49 I think. Four minutes or four, 4.10 miles. It already got wiped off my watch. So uh, yeah, it was a eight minute, 13 second pace. Which is great. You know, eight minutes and 13 seconds is pretty good improvement. And if I keep it up, I might actually break under the eight minute mark. Running in the seven minute range would be terrifying, but great. Completely forgot about this place, which is way closer to my apartment. Right across the street from my grocery store. Which is good, because I need to go grocery shopping. I thought my laundry was ready, but it's um, it's, it's still going.
It was just sitting there when I came in. Every time I think it's done. <laughs> I think it may be done. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can just do this. Ah. Wonder how long ago I could have done that. I, uh, I was gonna set my camera up and just talk to it, but I mean, I might as well start some form of like book reviewing tradition that I do this in front of the Eiffel Tower. I mean, look at the sunset. It's mostly obscured by clouds, but the colors are still beautiful. Check this out. Anyways, I just finished reading The Chamber of Secrets. In case you didn't know, I've never read Harry Potter before, any of the books, and I was genuinely concerned. I didn't really share this, uh, but I was a little concerned that I was not gonna like the Harry Potter series as much as literally everyone I know after reading the first book just because, you know, it was it was good, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like, didn't get me. The Chamber of Secrets got me. I don't know why, I think J.K. Rowling's writing improved, I think that the story moved really well. Um, the structure again was really solid. I'm gonna have to think about this, like why was it that I really liked this story that much more than the other? I really loved Lockhart. That was a great character to throw in there. He was so full of himself and just so amazingly transparently awful. The stakes were higher, the pacing was even faster, and overall, I just really enjoyed it. Yeah.